Hey folks, welcome back to Coco Rare Coins and Currency. As always, hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Today's video, the Morgan Silver Dollar, but more specifically, the Dimples, DMPL. What does that mean? Well, it's actually an abbreviation for Deep Mirror Proof Like. So how do these coins get that designation? We're going to take a look at some real life examples. And I'm also going to show you how to avoid getting ripped off buying these coins so first brief explanation of what a dimple coin is deep mirror proof like when the u.s mint was striking morgan dollars um, they had a die pair so you know as the silver planchets went through die struck the coin struck the coin struck the coins all right um when they were using brand new dies the first 10, maybe 20 coins on those dies came out as dimple, deep mirror proof like. Um, they look like modern proof coins, so to speak. And what I mean by that is they have a mirror background with a uh, with a frosted cameo appearance on the raised portions of the coin. So the first 10, 20, maybe 30 coins on that die set came out as dimples because they were brand new dots. And then after that, you had maybe 100, maybe 200 coins that would come out as proof-like. So not deep mirror proof-like, but merely proof-like. And then the final 90, 100,000 coins would just be normal coinage, all right? So your dimple coins are pretty rare because every time the mint changed the, the, the die pairs, only the first 10, 20, 30 came out as dimples. The rest, 99,000 plus, came out as modern coinage, so to speak, without you know the mirror backgrounds, without the frosted relief. So therefore, your Morgan Silver Dollar dimple coins are worth significantly more than your normal circulation that you're going to find. So let's take a look up close exactly what a dimple coin looks like. All right, folks. So the first video I want to share with you is the 2021 Morgan uh, Carson City Privy. So this is MS70 condition. Uh, this is was done in commemoration of the 100th anniversary of the Morgan dollar. Um, MS70, perfect condition from the U.S. Mint. Uh, but what I want you to really pay attention to is the flat fields. So if we take a look at the fields of this coin, the back of the coin, the high relief of the coin, what you're going to see is everything is pretty consistent. Okay. All right. So that being out of the way, let's take a look at a very high grade Morgan silver dollar. So this right here is an 1881S MS66 plus condition. Very, very high grade Morgan dollar. If we take a look at the fields and also the raised portion of the coins, we'll see that they're generally very flat. What I mean by that is they're basically the same color, the same tone, the same you know, mirror, so to speak, image. It's a normal coin, a very high grade MS66 plus, but it's a normal coin. All right, so what I want to show to you now is a dimple. So this right here, folks, this is an 1884 New Orleans Mint MS63 dimple, DMPL, as certified by PCGS. This coin retails for approximately $325. You can immediately see the difference between the background and the relief portions of this coin. So if you were to take this coin out of the case, it would be incredibly clear that it has a deep mirror proof like background. So that background is going to reflect uh, text and images and things of that nature, almost like a mirror. So this is your 1884 dimple certified MS63 
by PCGS. Now let's take a look at this same coin, also at MS63, that's not a dimple. Let's see if you can take a look at the difference. Hopefully we can get those coins to focus there. There we go. All right, so as you can see, one side of the screen, very obvious cameo appearance on the raised portions with a mirror background. The 1890 Morgan and MS-63, no cameo, no mirrors. So this is really, really hard uh, via video to see the difference, even via pictures. It's very difficult to see this. I would strongly suggest you not purchase any of these uh, Morgan Dollar proof like or deep mirror proof like coins unless you actually are able to see them in person. When you see them in person, the difference is very obvious. So I'm just going to kind of rotate this around for you a little bit. Okay. Look at the fields. Look at the face. Okay. Look at the fields. Look at the face. And then on our dimple coin, I, let's take a look at the fields. Look at the face. It's pretty obvious in this video, thanks to some very high magnification photography that I'm doing. Um, but it's really hard to show this in video and photos. When you see it in real life, it's pretty obvious. So that right there, folks, 1884 New Orleans Mint, 1863 Dimple Coin, absolutely beautiful in person. Let's take a look at the back of that coin. The back of the coin also Dimple, mirror proof like, or I'm sorry, mirrors in the backgrounds, cameo on the reliefs. All right, so this is what I want you to pay attention to, folks. All right, folks, so now let's take a look at some real life examples of how you can be ripped off buying these coins online if you don't know what you're doing. All right, folks, so I wanted to show you how to avoid getting ripped off buying Morgan Dimple coins online. So right here, we're on eBay. All right, so I want you to carefully read the text on this on on this advertisement. It says right, right here, 1887S, so that's 1887 San Francisco. It says up here, Jim BU. Historically in the coin, uh, you know, coin collecting industry, when someone refers to a coin as Jim BU, uh, Jim Brilliant Uncirculated, they're talking about MS-65 condition. All right, so here we go, 1887S, Claims MS-65 condition. And down here at the bottom, it says ultra deep liquid mirrors. Ultra deep liquid mirrors. And then right here, superstar dimple. Superstar dimple. So 1887S, gem brilliant uncirculated, ultra deep liquid mirrors, superstar dimple. There's a couple things you need to pay attention to. The first thing you need to pay attention to, this Morgan dollar is in a cardboard two by two holder, okay? The, the asking price for this coin is $2,500. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But if you're gonna believe the ad, it's an 1887S, Jim BU, so that means MS65 plus, with ultra deep liquid mirrors, superstar dimple, $2,500, that's an incredible deal. Well, how do I know that? Well, let's take a peek. So what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna jump over to PCGS's website. We're gonna to go to their price guide and we're gonna pull, pull this coin up. So we're gonna scroll down here, right here, to dollars, Morgan dollars. And then we're going to take a look at the 1887. Uh, yes, 1887. That was the coin in question. So we're going to scroll over here to your 1887 S silver dollars. So here we go right there. So 1887 S 
silver dollar. Okay, so I've, I've got the right tab selected. Remember, he says ultra deep liquid mirrors, superstar dimple. I've got deep mirror proof like selected, uh, 1887S. He claimed it's MS65 condition. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow, look at this, folks. <laughs> the 1887S. Dimple. Uh, MS65 condition. PCGS says it's worth $30,000. They're not too far off. Back in 2005, you can see it right here on the screen. Back in 2005, one of these coins sold at Heritage Auction for $25,000. Let's just go ahead and pull that up here, see if it'll load. The original lot of uh, Heritage Auctions. Uh, so this particular coin, uh, 1887S, MS65, Deep Mirror Proof-like. Uh, 2005, so we're talking 18 years ago, uh, this coin literally sold uh, for $25,000. And modern pricing is, of course, $30,000, according to PCGS. But if you believe this guy on eBay, he's selling you the 1887S Morgan Dollar Gem BU, i.e. MS65, Superstar Dimple Ultra Deep Liquid Mirrors for $2,500. So this is what you got to watch out for, folks. Do not believe for a second that you can buy a coin that is on record for selling for $20,000 and $30,000 plus on eBay for $2,500. So I challenge this guy, whoever whoever this guy is, um, maybe it's Alamo City, I don't know. If this guy really has an 1887S MS65 deep mirror proof light coin that's worth $2,500, why doesn't he send it off to PCGS or NGC for grading? That sure would solve a lot of my questions. Hmm. Maybe it's not really a dimple. I don't know. What do you think, folks? Comment down below. As always, I hope you got something from the video. I hope you found it to be very informative about what a dimple coin is, how it was produced, and most importantly, don't buy crap like this on eBay for 10% of their retail price. When you know you're getting scammed. All right, so folks, click that like and subscribe button down below. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. Have a good night, folks. Coco, Rare Coins of Currency. Check it out.